Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Ellen and in this week's vlog I'm going to take you guys along with me on a realistic typical week. I don't have a lot of lectures so I'll also be studying in the library. I'm going to take you guys along with me in Brussels so let's not wait any more longer. I'm going to put on my pyjamas and I am going to make a meal prep for tomorrow. So tomorrow I have a lecture at 8.30, so I need to wake, wake up at 6.30 and I usually make a meal prep, so I don't need to do this in the morning, but I can just quickly get ready and go. Also don't forget to like this video and also subscribe, this really means a lot to me and it helps the channel grow. Let's get into the video. So for my breakfast I have Activia yogurt, also have some granola from this brand which is my favorite, also two mandarins to have some fruit as well to keep it balanced. So I peel the mandarins and I cut them in small pieces to make it easier to eat and then I start with a layer of yogurt, then I add some fruit and finally another layer of granola and this is my meal prep for my breakfast. For my lunch I had some leftover pasta that I mixed with salad and some chicken. I made a bit too much so I ended up saving it for later. Good morning guys, today I have school at 8.30. Let's get out of bed. So here's my campus and there are some scale models on display that I wanted to show you guys. They look very impressive. I also find the use of materials very original. All the scale models are very beautiful and well made. So I usually arrive around 8 am so I have some time to read or prepare a lesson. And right now I'm reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and it's definitely a thriller like it keeps me hooked. I want to know who is the murderer in the story, so I think I will definitely finish it in within a week. Since I arrive so early, I can always choose a good spot. And in the morning, I typically have a class from history, like architecture history, or sometimes from structures. It's followed by a lunch break. Then I have a philosophical class. And in the evening, I have a third class on structural engineering. As you can see, I have a lot of classes in one day, but it's only once a week, so it's pretty manageable. Okay, so today I'm going to the library. I really like to go to because I feel more productive. It's in Brussels. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Definitely love vlogging in Brussels. It's always fun. There's more to do than in my city. So yeah, definitely excited. I need to work on a program called Diamonds. It's like for stability and structures. You can calculate everything. So I will show you guys it. I also don't know too much about it because it will be the first time that I'm trying it out. So that's what I'm going to do, like a quick little update on what I'm studying right now. So I have my bachelor's degree in interior architecture and I'm now doing like a little preparation year because I want to do my master's in architecture and there were like a few subjects that we didn't have in our course. It's handy that I have those so that I'm more prepared for my master in architecture so i'm having like a few classes from the second year and also from the third year first semester right now i'm not having any practical classes which is actually kind of peaceful <laughs> but i don't have to make uh, a lot of things for school i don't have as much work as i used to and then in the other half of the semester i will have bachelor thesis from architecture which i'm kind of scared for not gonna lie but gonna keep in the hard work so yeah that was just a little quick update and i'm now going to make my bag and i'm going to brussels Oh, 
Okay, so before I start studying, I really want to take a look at the Christmas decorations. The stores are already full of them and I absolutely love this time of year. It's like my favorite holidays. Okay, now back to work and off to the library. So for my structure and connection class, we have a group assignment, which is quite substantial. We need to design a building, but our main focus should be on the structures and the construction. To do this, we have to use a software program called Diamonds. And as you can see, I was, I was initially following a tutorial, but I have to admit that it's not an easy program. It really took me a while to get the hang of it. I took a short bathroom break and it's quite a coincidence that we were sitting right next to the architecture department. I was still struggling a bit. As you can see, you can really specify the materials from your building like concrete, steel, wood. It's very detailed and the more detail you put into it, the more accurate your calculations will be. So it's definitely a really great program if you want to calculate your structures and the stability. This morning I'm preparing an assignment before my class starts and I have to read a few texts for the history class and I need to create like a chart and answer some questions about them but I will tell you more about it later so I'm taking the subway to the library and look how cool the exit is I never took this way and it looks like an airport, it's really cool I just wanted to show you guys this So here I am continuing to work on the assignment and I will provide you with some information. So there are two texts and one is by Mike Davis, Fortress in the City. The other one is from the architect Ram Kolhas, whom you probably know. Uh, in my history classes or like ph philosophical classes, they talk a lot about him and he's very praised. So both texts discuss the shaping of, of cities. One from Mike Davis is about Los Angeles and the one from Ram Kolhas is about New York and specifically about Manhattan. They also talk about the positive and the negative aspects that come along with it with shaping a city and I think it's very interesting. I do recommend if you're studying architecture to read them. And it also gives you a lot of insight on urban planning as well. I'm at home today, so I'm just going to work for school at home. And I actually didn't vlog a few things that happened this week. I went to Cirque du Soleil. It was super fun. It was like a last minute thing. My boyfriend had an extra ticket so we could go. It was in Brussels and the show was amazing. I also went out yesterday for Halloween, also a last minute thing. Today it's like the 28th of October, so I don't know if I'm going out on Halloween itself, because now I did like a last minute costume thing and I didn't really dress up as anything. I just did like some fake blood. I don't know if I'm going to dress up for Halloween or not. It's definitely one of my favorite like holidays because I love to do my makeup and also the costumes. Now today I did want to go to the library but it's such a rainy day like it has been raining the whole day so I think I'm just going to stay at home and vlog a bit. I should honestly take up my camera more when I like do some fun things because now it seems like I only work for school but <laughs> yeah I did a lot of fun things actually. I got myself an apple look how big it is crazy. Okay let's get back to work. so i think i'm going to end the vlog here i'm watching a belgian program like a quiz i will show you guys i'm watching that right now i'm going to end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching please 
put some recommendations below what you would like to see next comment down below what you wear for halloween and to end the vlog here hopefully the quality is a bit okay uh, because it's a bit darker but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys bye